you know, I think when it comes to member retention, it's realizing that retention starts day one, minute one. The second somebody joins your membership site, the clock is ticking. So you need to make sure that you are getting your onboarding right. So you're looking after people during their initial few days, their initial few weeks, and their initial few months of their experience as a member. So there's some specific things you can do with that. Um, and I'll talk through, you know, what, what people should be thinking in terms of their onboarding process, if, if that's uh, something you think that your community would be interested in, Liam. Yeah, definitely. Just in terms of um, how do we get people through those, those first few days, as you said, they're crucial for retention and, and you know, minimizing cancellations, if you like. Um, what are some of the, the steps there that um, membership owners should be taking? Yeah, well, first of all, you need to make sure that anyone joining your site is given a warm welcome. It's a simple thing, but it's so often underestimated in terms of its impact. You probably have the feeling yourself when you buy something, you join a membership, you purchase a course, you have that little voice in the back of your head, that little bit of buyer's remorse, or oh, I hope I made the right call. Have I just wasted my money? Am I actually getting you know, what I paid for? Is this living up to the hype? So that welcome, that initial reaction, that first thing that somebody sees when they're joining your membership after they've completed registration is key to setting the tone. So you should have that friendly welcome message or ideally a personal video from you welcoming them to the site, making them feel good about their decision to join. Then they can stop worrying about whether they've made the right call and they start focusing on actually making use of their membership. They're feeling good. They're feeling warm and fuzzy about this community that they just joined. From there, it's crucial to provide some form of orientation. Don't leave new members scratching their heads, trying to figure out where everything is in your site. Provide a walkthrough video or even some sort of interactive tour that shows people step-by-step -step how to use your website. Then. Think about what the ideal four to five steps you would want every single new member of your site to take in order to help them get off to the best start. So you want to provide these as a checklist or maybe even a new member course. This might be something as simple as getting them to watch your tour video, to, get, to complete their community profile if you have a forum, to apply to join your Facebook group if you have a private members group. Maybe you get them to fill in a new member questionnaire. Whatever it is that is going to give your members the greatest chance of getting off to the best possible start and building habits of using your site, of being attracted and, 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 and being directed towards your best content and all that sort of stuff, lay this out as an activity that every new member needs to go through so you know at the very least You've got the basics down. They're filled in the community. They've introduced themselves in your forum. They have given you information that helps you point towards uh, the most useful content, tailored content to them. So lay that out as a checklist, a worksheet for them to go through, an exercise to go through. And then really it's a case of, of staying in contact and keeping that dialogue going throughout that first month or you know, if they're on a trial period throughout their trial period. You want to be checking in with them via email using an autoresponder series where you're highlighting your best content. You're checking in that they're managing okay, that they know where to turn to for support. You're showcasing maybe features that, that you know that most your members uh, engage with. Perhaps you're directing them to specific content in relation to you know, a questionnaire they filled in when they first signed up. It's really just keeping that dialogue going, not only to make sure that you're putting the best foot forward for your site, but also give them an opportunity to hit reply and let you know if they're having a problem. Blue or not, most people, if they're having a little bit of a niggle, a little bit of a problem, something's not quite working, quite often they'll, be, they'll just let that fester and they'll leave without saying anything. If you don't start that dialogue with them, that gives them the opportunity to hit reply and say, well, actually really struggling to find this so i really wanted this thing and i can't quite find it you want to make sure that the, those lines of communication have opened and then towards the end of the first month someone's with you or the end of their trial period you want to kind of pivot your onboarding email series to become a little bit more about signposting the future value that your membership offers. So letting them know what content is coming up, what features are being added, what guests are coming in to do workshops. 
If you start signposting that future value, it means that any decision about whether they stay or go is not just based on the value that they've had during their first month, but also what they're going to miss out on if they decide to leave. So you're creating that pain of disconnect that can be very compelling for getting people to stick around beyond their first month and to build up that momentum that will keep them subscribed long term.